Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, I will be sharing with you this note tree I created using Spreadshop Notes. Um, this is something that's actually pretty simple. Uh, you can actually perhaps do this using geometry nodes. Um, still, uh, it's easier to do this using Spreadshop. Um, you can see this is actually generating 150 different circles. Um, but the circle is only using just like a trim circles, so only part of the circles. And the way I created this is simply um, so besides the extrude and solidify. So what I was doing was from a circle, I simply trim, trim the circle randomly, and then rotate it randomly, and then I simply extrude and solidify. Extrude and solidify is easy. Um, the trimming is actually pretty easy as well simply by using the circle uh, circle curve node. So I started with this <clears throat> and I know with this we can control the T minimum and T maximum and also we can randomize the radius. So with the radius I choose, I, I'm using this number range and then for the T max, I'm using random number. So this is picking the angle and then simply slice it. If I make this the same, like the same uh, angle, it's everything will be trimmed by 90 degrees. But anyway, we can randomize that. <clears throat> so we have this circle that we can evaluate. So I can reduce the number of subdivisions or increase it it's better and then here I didn't join <coughs> the curve I actually keep it separate because by doing that we can also do this matrix apply where I'm randomizing the the angle while I'm also being able to control the positions of the line so this is probably cooler. Yeah. Right. So reposition and we adjust the rotations. Then I simply extrude and solidify. But extruding and solidify also matters. We can we can randomize the, the thickness as well. So so everything is, is kind of like lots of random numbers coming in and then transforming so this is i think <clears throat> really powerful thing in Spreadshop. with geometry nodes you can do the same but more for instance objects at the moment i think <clears throat> so um another way <clears throat> another way to do this is if you are kind of duplicating a circles and you kind of get rid of some of the edges and then you simply extrude and solidify if I were to try to do that uh, very quickly, let's say, okay, sketch of notes, start with circle, this is the basic circle, create a mass viewer, and then just connect the vertices and the edges, and then I use range number, uh, I'll just make 10 for now, I plug this into the radius, I think this is a really powerful feature of Spreadshop. So you just generate number and then pass it and then it's going to understand. It's kind of like a in geometry nodes you can create a new attribute like randomize a value and then you can just plug it in and use it. Similar to that. I think geometry nodes need uh, this number range node so we can have more or less. From here, we can actually perhaps join it, or in this case, list. Uh, let me think. List mask. Well, list mask out might do the job. Okay. So, list mask by default is kind of doing this true or false, true or false, but you can always give it a random uh, 
random number. Plug this into the mask. So this will actually work. It's probably easier if we just mess join this beforehand. So I'm joining the circle and then I pass in the data and getting rid of some. Easier, let, let me show you. It's easier if I explain it using modifier. So this is a bunch of circles being generated on the fly from scratch off. But you can always use build modifier, right? Build modifier does that. But you can also randomize. So this is kind of what's going on. And then you apply. And then you you want to... Uh, let me think. You want to screw with zero angle. And extrude. And you want to solidify. Kind of similar idea. So thinking possibility, you can do the same. Edge extrude. Pass in the vertices and the edges data. Hopefully this works. Solidify. Same thing, I think this is also quite valid. We can still control the number of vertices, randomize the this. Yeah. Yeah, and you have this kind of circle circular thing. Simpler circles. Alright, so that's basically how you do it. You can definitely, I think, do this using geometry nodes because geometry nodes already have circle. It's just the way uh, Svertshop kind of handling the vertices and edges, like the component data, it's making this much easier, I think, to create. All right, so yeah, hopefully you find this interesting. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.